Hello and welcome to Dottotech. Today there's almost no distinction between our personal and business lives. We want to be connected in all ways at all times. Some people may say it's for the better and some say it's for the worse. I'll let you be the judge of the value for you. Personally, I love the fact that I'm always connected. I think it allows me to be productive in quiet times freeing up more personal time for when I'm at home. And here is a perfect example of when we should be connected and productive, right here, when we're on the road. Today, I'm waiting for a flight at the Plaza Lounge in the Vancouver Airport. And like any well-equipped road warrior, I've got everything I need to remain productive with me. Now, I have a few criteria for the tools that I take on the road with me. First criteria is they've got to do the job. No cutting corners. I want full-featured tools. Secondly, they got to be light. I hate checking my bag, so everything needs to fit and fit easily. Third, it has to last. Battery life, crucial. Although I have to say that particular criteria is becoming less of an issue now that so many planes are equipped with power outlets, but I'd prefer not to have to get out my power cable and plug it in. I'd rather have a really good battery. So let's have a look at what I travel with, and it all starts with this, my notebook. I'm a big fan of the tablet PC, and there's a bunch of reasons for this. Have a look at this one here. This is the HP TouchSmart TX2. It is small, it fits, but nothing is left out. It does everything, and I do mean everything. I've used tablet PCs for a long time, and there's a lot of things I really like about tablet PCs, but HP has considerably upped the ante with the TX2. It's really an entertainment notebook as opposed to my previous tablets that were really business centric. The first difference is this is a widescreen display, actually a very special display. A 12.1 inch diagonal WXGA high definition HP Brightview widescreen integrated touchscreen convertible display. That is quite the mouthful, but let's step through it. First of all, it is a widescreen format, 1280 by 800 DPI, allowing us to use it for entertainment applications. It's also a convertible display. Convertible means that it converts from normal mode into tablet mode, allowing us to then use the rechargeable uh, stylus for doing handwriting recognition and other tablet type applications. But it's, so it's not only a convertible display for tablet, but it's also a touch screen display, meaning that we can use it with HP's TouchSmart software, which is integrated, allowing our hands to navigate or our fingers to actually navigate through the screen. As I said, a very special screen, which I'm going to get back to in detail in a few minutes. But first, let's look at the rest of the notebook. Inside, a 320 gigabyte hard drive, allowing us to store media because it is an entertainment notebook, so we're going to want to store lots of media. 320 gigabytes, plenty of storage space. It also has a LightScribe DVD RW drive. Now, many subcompact notebooks don't have an optical drive anymore. This one does. Now, why you need an optical drive has changed a little bit over the years. In the past, we used to use it for installing software or for backing up all of our different media and applications and files. Today, we tend to use the optical drive an awful lot more for burning our own DVDs or for entertainment applications like watching movies. Backing up now typically happens on hard drives or servers, and installing software can, it can still happen from optical media, but quite often now we just install software directly from the web. Uh, speaking of the web, we also have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity built in. Also in the screen here, we have a camera built in, which gives us the ability to do great web conferencing. It's got built-in microphones and speaker built into the screen as well. So it's got all of the different bells and whistles that we need readily accessible. Not only that, as far as entertainment goes, it's got this handy-dandy remote allowing us to, if we're doing things like watching movies or listening to music, control all of those features as well. So as you can see, there's lots of nice little extra features built in. It's also got some really practical tools, tools that you need in a notebook to make you more productive. I'll give you a simple example. If we look down here in the touchpad, we have a normal touchpad for navigating and moving the cursor around within the screen. But when you're typing, having a touchpad here, quite often your thumb will accidentally hit the, hit the cursor and move the cursor down into the next paragraph and you end up typing in two different paragraphs messes you up, you can disable the touchpad just with that button and now the touchpad is no longer active. So you can use a mouse or you can use your finger for navigating within the screen. More on that again in a few seconds. As I said, it's also a full media workhorse. So it's got all sorts of remote controls here allowing us to automatically get into our entertainment applications or, uh, this is one of my favorite tools here, because it's a notebook, it allows us to get into the Windows Mobility Center with just a press of that button, which gives us an instant status shot of all of our different critical tools. It's got our display brightness, whether our audio is muted, our battery condition, whether we have our wireless on or off, 
all of that with a single button instead of having to go into multiple control panels. Very, very useful. Uh, as far as the, let me, let me now show you a little bit about the actual, the touch smart software. Now we've shown you the touch smart software a little bit in the past in an earlier episode of Dotto Tech where we were looking at actually the kitchen computers. And in that we looked at how the screen, how we navigated our way through the screen just by using our finger using something called multi-touch technology. Well that's built into this screen as well. So we can actually say pinch and just enlarge the photograph here just by pinching our fingers and squeezing together. And similarly we can navigate through the photos. We can even open applications all with our finger if we want. Or as I said, we can use it as a tablet PC by rotating it and then using the stylus for capturing handwriting recognition and text. It includes Microsoft's OneNote software, which is a wonderful tool for doing that sort of application. You know, until I started packing around the TX2, I pretty much had my tablet firmly entrenched in the all work, no play camp. That is not this tablet. If I look at technology to support my balanced life, work and play, business and fun, all in their respective places, each supporting each other, well then this is a piece of the puzzle that I've been missing. I'm going to be a much more fun guy from now on. Blogs, podcasts, streaming video, you can find it all on our website. Check it out at dottotech.com.